Hey DV, welcome to our first episode of Conquest Journal. I'm Michael. And I'm Adrian. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. After a year and a half, Plaza Palooza came back with a lot of fun and excitement. It was a success for both students and teachers. Plaza Palooza has made its way to Del Valle High School after quite a long time. Students enjoyed being at the Plaza Palooza and had a great time. My favorite part about the Plaza Palooza definitely has to be the people. I get to see like a lot of my friends. I get to like hang out with them. Definitely the band since I'm in band as well. Uh, being able to sell to everybody, you know. Yeah, being able to connect with people finally again now that we're back at school. Even teachers had fun attending Plaza Palooza this year. I think it's just all the vendors, all the kids coming out, finally being able to be somewhat together, having a good time, and then all the good treats. Well, you know what's, what's the best part of uh, Plaza Palooza this year is that what, seeing all the students here come together. You know, it's been a year and a half since we were able to get together as a whole campus. And man, the energy that you can see as the students return to campus, this is what Plaza Palooza is all about. I'm having fun. I mean, the excitement is building, and I'll tell you what, the energy is amazing. So uh, kudos to all the students who came out to this year's Plaza Palooza. Students that are part of an organization gather to sell papas preparadas, snow cones and beverages, and many other things. We're selling papas preparadas, Mexican papas preparadas, with elotes, cheese, jalapeños, and valentina. Oh, man, you know, for, for not having an event in a year and a half, this has been something that we've been looking forward to, and so have the students. As Plaza Palooza came to an end, it was a success and both students and teachers had a fun and awesome time. Reporting from Conquest Journal, Clarissa Silvas. The DV Band has returned for the 2021 season. Let's see how that's going. The Del Valle Marching Band has returned for the 2021 season with a few changes this year. It's awesome being back. You know, the experiences that we get to create. It's nice to be around the band again and actually playing and like with each other. Within these changes comes adjusting to their return. This year is about details and fundamentals and getting back to the basics. I've adjusted fairly. Overall, president-wise, it's more of my responsibility to just manage the band as a whole. The band is eager and ready for this year's season. Reporting for Concourse Journal, Michael Lopez. The start of the year can't truly begin without fall sports. Let's take a peek. A new school year means new sports seasons, many of them starting and others already started it. As reigning by district champs, let's see how the football team is preparing to defend their title. We feel really excited about our upcoming season. Uh, we have a good senior group with a great leadership. Our junior class is, we feel is very talented, so it's all about putting it together now and and going to work and getting better every day. Feels great, you know. Finally, we have our parents in the stands, you know, yelling at us. You know, we got we got boosters everywhere. We got the student section back, you know, the hype the hype of the, you know, the game. Coach Marufo discusses the effort and hard work that the team has been putting into the start of this season. We haven't even had a break right after track season. Our cross country kids came out they started working and we've been practicing all summer long, nonstop. We're two meets in and we have six more to go. After last year's by district win, tennis is getting ready to start strong this season while keeping their team safe during this time. Oh, I'm just happy. Happy to see the kids. Happy to see my players. Just happy to see even and happy to see all the other teachers. So yeah, I'm really happy to be back. We're really good. Uh, we have a really good team this year. We should be. Uh, we should compete for district, and uh, yeah, we, we've got a lot better. We take a lot of precautions. Make sure the kids wear, you know, their masks, and uh, they, they they do their social distancing. So yeah, I mean, they wash their hands. So I mean, there's a lot of concern, but uh, I mean, we take a lot of precautions. Coach Rodriguez shares her excitement about the new season and the ability to return to normal schedule. We have a really young team this year, so seeing the leadership from our seniors um, carried down onto the underclassmen is a really exciting thing to see. We were actually able to go out of town this season, whereas last year we didn't. So the girls were able to, um, I feel like, build more of a relationship with each other while we were out of town. Let's take a look at the swimming team and how they are staying safe during their practices. I am extremely excited. The kids work super hard and uh, 
I just can't wait to see the, the results that they, they produce. I think we follow enough precautions, we're careful enough. We wear the mask until we get in the water. We give each other five seconds in between swimmer. That way uh, they're spaced out. So don't forget to show your school spirit by supporting Del Valle Fall Sports. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Lilia Gomez. Mask mandates are now being enforced in schools all over Texas. Let's see how DV is doing. With a decrease in cases at the end of last school year, Texas Governor Greg Abbott decided to ban the mask mandate. As school progressed this year, cases increased and many schools throughout Texas had to go against the governor's ban on masks. Due to the local temporary restraining order blocking the governor's executive order and after receiving guidance from district attorneys, Islada ISD began requiring that all YASD employees, students, parents, and visitors comply with the local health authority mask mandate throughout all district facilities. Again, I'm very happy that the district has moved to make <laughs> as mandatory as possible wearing these masks and keeping our kids safe and providing that environment for them to be able to learn safely. It feels pretty good to like know that they're actually helping us. Um, I think I'm a big advocate for the freedom of choice. I understand that maybe not everybody agrees with my point of view, but I think students should feel comfortable um, whether they have a mask or they don't have a mask. I think it really should be up to the person. The YSD school board held a meeting with guest Dr. Ocaranza to discuss vaccination rates and mask mandates. The school of children cases, as we can see, high schoolers, which is the brown line, those cases are preventable. How? By getting them vaccinated. To keep the community safe, Dr. Ocaranza recommends wearing masks, social distancing, and vaccinations. For more information on vaccinations, visit epstrong.org. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Leslie Cornejo. Have nothing to do after school? Why not check out these amazing clubs? Belvaya High School has many clubs for you to join. Here's a look at what they have to offer. If you want to keep the school spirit, Student Council is the club for you. My club is Student Council. Um, all we do around the school is just spirit stuff. All we, we plan homecoming, we plan pep rallies, Plaza Palooza. The requirements to join is to just show up to the meetings and then just sign in after. Maybe you want to perform live. The Drama Club could help you with that. Um, we do a lot of events outside of here, not just like in the like in drama, which like you can act if you want to. The requirements, there are no requirements except like pass your classes and um, participate. If you like English arts and expressing literature, National English Honor Society might be for you. NEHS, which is National English Honor Society, and it's for those who enjoy English and literature. And how to get in is we have students fill out a writing portion and we check their GPA. If you like to play and want to learn guitar, join the Guitar Club. Guitar Club, um, we do a lot as a club together. We have a bunch of little organizations that kind of like work hand in hand. To be part of the club, um, you just have to be dedicated and willing as far as you learning how to play guitar. If you like to put your brain to the test, try the chess club. I don't know, it's a pretty relaxed club. It's, it's a lot of fun. We usually just kind of come and just chill and hang out and well, play chess. We sometimes compete and we're going to be like selling stuff. Um, we like to do like fun different games. You don't have to have any requirements. It's, it's a more laid back organization. So like for example, we either like, you don't actually have to be an official member either. You can just stop by and like play a game. Found any clubs that you're interested in? Why not join? Reporting from Conquest Journal, Miguel Garcia. As schools are opening up again, we take a look on how students and teachers are doing mentally. As students and teachers are coming to school after a long period of time due to COVID, this can be anxiety inducing for many and cause stress balancing with their school and personal life. I'm all dual credit classes. I'm on rap statistics, dual credit biology, dual credit economics, dual credit government, and then I'm captain for the flag team. So I have to be able to notify the team members of everything they have to do and myself for that. And then also do my work, turn in all my work and be ready and like be like college student level. With the pressure that these students face, it is important to find a balance. The way I balance my work and personal life is just by making sure I have my time managed. Because if I don't have my time managed, I get caught up in everything. So yeah, just time management is the key. It is necessary for kids to take breaks and time for themselves. 
just make sure to have those like spa days I talked about. They really help you like Sunday, Friday, any other day. Just have that little day where you can just relax and breathe. Not only does mental health affect students, but it also affects our teachers. Since we started school, uh, I was really nervous about, especially after this past year, I mean, everybody went through virtual learning, so that itself was a hurdle and an obstacle that we were all kind of like psyching ourselves up for. And after that, it's just, you know, a little bit more of what it used to be, but the adjustment was kind of punking me out a little bit in the sense that I was really nervous and scared and wondering what it was going to be like. But in terms of impacting my mental health, I would say it's more positively impacting because it's me being around a more familiar setting after uh, you know what was a really rough year for everybody, and a rough two years, if you will. So it's been a really, really strange few uh, moments and events leading up to this, but I for sure think that coming back to school has impacted it positively more than anything. If you are a person who struggles with mental health, don't be afraid to seek help. Talk to your counselor or a trusted adult. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Natalie Perez. This year, our very own Mr. Benavides reached a huge milestone in his career. Let's check it out. This year, one of Del Valle's teachers has reached a very important milestone. Mr. Benavides has advanced to the finals of Teacher of the Year. I'm still in shock. I still little by little sinking in it's uh it's been a journey uh ever since it started back in uh january february with the campus teacher of the year and then making it into the district teacher of the year and the region teacher of the year and now on to hoping to become uh, the state teacher of the year it's uh it's just it's exciting it's surreal um a lot of emotion going through it but at the end what it boils down to is this is all for the students. I've had a lot of great mentors and administrators and uh, fellow teachers that have helped me along the way. Uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Tanya Rubacalva who nominated me, who's a fellow, a fellow teacher, biology teacher. It's not only what I've done in the classroom, but I also think it's what I've done outside the classroom. Uh, I'm a sponsor for the anime club. When they came to me in the beginning, I didn't even know what anime was all about, but I learned quickly and I took on the anime club. We have a medical sciences club, which now is, might turn into a medical environmental sciences club. Uh, because of different things that I want to bring to the Valle. All the students are, are amazing. Uh, it's because of them. My story starts with my parents, but at the same time, I do what I do for my kids and for all kids. But I wouldn't be able to do any of that without my family. My family's ecstatic. They're excited. Uh, they see it. There's, there's what my wife says is all the hard work is, is paying off and, and people are noticing. Well, if I make it past the finals, if I make it to the state level, because there's only three of us, then we go on to nationals. And that's a big one because I'm going to be competing against 49 other states. I just want to let uh, the rest of the state and maybe the nation know what Del Valle, El Paso, and the El Paso community is all about. On behalf of all the students and staff, we would like to congratulate Mr. Benavides and wish him the best of luck for the future. Reporting for Conquest Journal, Jamie Pineda. Thank you for tuning in into our first episode of Conquest Journal. I'm Adrian. I'm Michael. Signing, Signing off. This year, our very own Mr. Benavides reached a oh, god. <laughs> oh, a bug hit my ear. What is mine? Just don't move. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah.